lock the scrum, and play the advantage. Tonight, a panther decides to sink his claws into a stable of broncos, but a raging bull introduces him to the kitchen sink. Plus, a rugby league immortal discovers that a cane toad's poison can pack a lethal punch. And this warrior accepts the challenge, but when he punched into work today, he didn't expect to pay the price. Here at Lock the Scrum, we look to share with non-rugby league viewers a broad description from a fan's point of view, the big hits, the big fights, and the big characters. This is Lock the Scrum, and now, this episode is on the way. Penrith, New South Wales. Round one, the National Rugby League regular season. Ben Ross from the Penrith Panthers provides assistance in tackling a Brisbane Bronco. As he's moving back into the defensive line, the Brisbane Broncos captain Gordon Tallis runs towards him. Ben Ross gets involved with the tackle, but his involvement is making Gordon angry. Gordon begins striking. Ben Ross pushes back, then Tallis rushes towards him and grabs Ben by the collar. Two players from both sides edge closer, just in case they're needed. Then an irritated Gordon Tallis turns into a raging bull and strikes Ben Ross with rapid stinging punches. The trouble starts here. As Ben Ross is getting up, he puts his hand around the throat of Gordon Tallis. Gordon shoots a jab swivels up, throws another stabbing jab, then Ross replies with a push. Then Talis rushes towards him and grabs Ben by the collar. Here's a different angle of the brutal beatdown. After being grabbed by Talis, Ross turns to engage the referee. As soon as he turns back around, he gets sprayed in the face with multiple blows. Both Panthers and Broncos team members move in and put an end to the fight. The Penrith crowd has just witnessed a veteran Bronco teaching a young buck a valuable lesson. Don't mess with the bull or you'll get the horns. The Sydney Cricket Ground, New South Wales, Game 3 of the State of Origin series the immortal Andrew Johns helped New South Wales capture the series by defeating Queensland in Game 1 and Game 2. But now, he finds himself under heavy fire by the opposing number 9 Jamie Goddard. The opportunity for Andrew Johns' revenge has arrived, but Jamie Goddard seems to be ready for the challenge. Andrew Johns goes for Goddard. They make their way out of the crowd in a barrel of punches. John slips around a Queenslander and a touch judge. Suddenly, Andrew Johns throws a right hand, and Goddard replies with a king hit that shakes the stadium. Surrounding players tumble on top of them. The trouble starts here. A scrum is packed. Mark Carroll, a New South Wales enforcer, demonstrates a ruthless attack. Andrew Johns looks up and sees his opportunity, and he goes for it. Johns and Goddard emerge from the chaos and quickly get separated from each other. Here's a different angle. A Queenslander holds him up, but Andrew Johns slips away. Jamie grabs him. Andrew fires a shot, and Goddard sends a straight right hand, followed by an uppercut. Then suddenly, Goddard finally finds the target. Andrew Johns goes down and takes Goddard down with him. The punch has split his mouth apart. He will need stitches. Winning a State of Origin series can make you feel on top of the world, but you better defend yourself when the world comes crashing down upon you. Suncorp Stadium, Queensland, Game 3 of the State of Origin series, Queensland hosts New South Wales. At the 78th minute, Jared Hayne crosses the line. And in the background, New South Wales player Brett White is face to face with the Queenslander Steve Price. Big punches are flying. Suddenly, another New South Welshman, Trent Waterhouse, spoils the party. They both go down. 
the Blues and the Maroon players rush in. They push and shove over the lifeless body of Price. The game is allowed to continue. The Queenslanders discuss their retaliation. A big kick sails through the air, and vigilante justice is served. The trouble starts here. Queensland number nine Cameron Smith holds onto Brett's jersey and presses down. Brett White, unaware of who was responsible, stands up and lashes out. Big lumberjack haymakers swing through the air like massive logs. Trent Waterhouse zeroes in. Here's a different angle. Brett White connects. Price begins to fall with Waterhouse wrapped around his neck and they go down. Both teams rush in. They push and shove. The Maroons send up a missile of a kick. Diddley catches and returns the ball. The crowd witness a spiteful ending of the series. Steve Price is unconscious, and players are sent off. Everyone knows champions pay the price. But these Queensland Maroons wanted payback. This has been a presentation from Rock the Scrum. If you enjoyed this content, then leave a thumbs up, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for you. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.